Hi, I'm Chance Wilder Onady, and kind of give you a bit of a little rundown of a different form of my rig that I use for my electric bass guitar. So what I have here is my absolutely beloved Warrior Dren Michael Isabella Custom that I've had for quite some time that we talked about earlier in the podcast. And I absolutely love and adore this instrument. It's got such a tonal range. It's incredible. And so I have this running into my BG-800 uh, by Roadcase by Phil Jones Bass, which is phenomenal. So phenomenal that I like the effects that they have on it too. So instead of running it into the board, I run my bass into here, and then it runs the effects loop before coming out. So, which leads us to my old, old, old <laughs> Boss GT6B. This thing has been beaten, and it's still alive. It died for a little bit, and then <laughs> magically came back to life. And I cannot be happier because it's just such a, like... To me, it was such like a nostalgic sound, because I, 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 I got this pedal when I was much younger, and I built a lot of like kind of cool chordal sound off of this thing because it's got this ridiculously nice chorus. And so what originally was funny, it started out as a preset and then I learned how to dive in and really adjust the um, what kind of mid boost that I want and actually actually adjust how much the chorus oscillated. And I finally said, and like, luckily I saved it years ago, and I just really love this setting where it's nice to do harmonics or just... The low notes don't overpower the harmonics. It's really clean. It's got nice, pretty sound. All the way across from the look. Of an octave. All the way across. Pretty. For me, I like it. It's pretty. It sounds pretty. I enjoy it. And I can get a clean sound all the way across. I can adjust from a tap. really quick playing and it's it doesn't lag it tracks beautifully and it's it's just so old and beaten and it works and so I really wanted to share again that like you know something that's that you once loved and then you know you lost for a bit because it stopped working and then you got it to, got it to work again it's totally cool to come back and start incorporating it back into your music again um, on my on my new record I use this really heavily for the just bass bass part of the song and it sits, what I love about this is it just happens to sit in the mix as a great, nice, great bass part. I do have the, the, my more sparkly high ends on my amp up a little bit more because it helps bring out a little bit of the nuances from the bow and also just a little bit more tacky. It just brings up brings alive to want to mess around and play again, like you know when you were younger and you're experimenting. So, I really enjoy this as, as a part of my rig. And if you guys have one as well, I, I highly encourage you go into it and really play with the, the knobs to really finesse your own sound out of it. it, it I, uh, you won't be disappointed. So for me, this combo is a really beautiful sound. And of course, my other pedal board is really designed for mm, this really beautiful piercing sound though that really cuts and leads as for when I play the upright or my bass guitar as the lead solo instrument but on here it can still cut. it's still pretty but it just has enough of a pullback on it where you can actually incorporate that almost into any kind of different kind of music and still be able to move around and it will sound 
it'll sound nice and fat and warm and pretty too. Right, hope, hope you enjoy. <laughs>